Hi everyone, so let's start our Next.js series. So first of all, what is Next.js? Next.js is a popular React framework that simplifies the process of building full stack web applications. So earlier you remember we were using React.js, CSR, client side rendering. There we used to build an API layer separately to integrate the front end and back end. But here with the Next.js you can build the APIs with the Next.js SSR only. You can build the dynamic uh, data fetching, APIs, server side components, everything inside the Next.js. So it is powered by uh, React Turbo Pack and these are the compilers, right? So here, if you try to look into the documentation, then I will say this is the best documentation you have ever seen in your life. I mean, till now I have seen the documentation of a different framework, but this contains everything like uh, how react.js works what all different things it is supporting so what are the key features of any next.js application let me just talk about it so routing rendering data fetching styling optimization and typescript right and overall it supports ssr server side rendering static side generation or incremental static generation, ISR, SSG, and SSR. Data fetching at runtime at the server side, you can also fetch the data. You can actually integrate with the database using Prisma, SQLize, Type ORM, different databases using different ORMs. So you always have a data at the server side, and that data you can actually render at the runtime when the request is coming. So it provides the file based routing. Here, if you look into the routing structure, and it supports two things. I mean, what are these two things? Earlier in the next years, 12 or 11, we used to use page-based router. But with the recent changes in the React 12 and 13, they start using the app router. So uh, next year is providing you the freedom. Okay, when you do the next CLI and create bootstrap application, it gives you the freedom that you wanted to use the app directory or a source directory with the page-based routing, right? So these are the two different variants you can see for the next JS when you are building any application and the same we will see while building a simple CLI application. So here we simply do this. This is the uh, React next JS CLI. It will ask me a couple of things, right? Create next step. Do you need to want to install all the latest packages? I will say yes. What is your project name? Okay. I will say next JS demo. We like to use TypeScript, yes, no, because it supports both and ESLint, obviously, yes, Tailwind, yes. Now, here it is important thing. Do you want to use source directory? I will say yes. And you wanted to use app router or not? I will say yes. Customize imports, that is fine. You want to configure the import alias? Yes. All these things are happening on the fly. So, what it is doing overall, if you look into the dependencies, it is importing the TypeScript, Node, React, React DOM, obviously the, the framework, core framework, Tailwind CSS, post CSS to support the Tailwind styles, ESLint for the linting, next and the React, React DOM. This is the next CSS framework and the React and React DOM. And these are the types for the React and React DOM. So no major dependencies are getting installed and it is using source directory and app router on top of that. So this is the content of the folder and if we look into this it contains source directory and if i just look into source directory what it contains it contains app directory right let's open this in the vs code so this is my first next js project everything is set up so that is the advantage of having these cli nest cli next js cli that you are getting everything bootstrapped here inside a source, you get all the files. So here I'm just seeing only app folder. App folder has a default page, default layout. And in global CSS, the Tailwind styles has been added. And this is the next config, package JSON, Tailwind config, TS config for the TypeScript project. And this is the default page when you do npm run dev. I didn't do npm install. That's why these are the warnings are being shown. So this is a source directory. Let's say if I'm not using source directory and app router. So here, let's say I'm doing this command and I'm choosing the different options. Let's say demo. 
and typescript yes eslint yes tailwind yes source directory i will say no app router no okay import alias is fine now what structure we are getting here if you say here this is like a different set of folder structure earlier we were using source directory and inside that we were having app folder app router this is the page based routing and here i can see the apis i can see the default page app document so i mean people are using app based router but there is nothing wrong that if you want to use the the older structure older based i mean in the react 12 or 11 we were using this older structure where we were also creating uh, underscore app underscore document index.tsx okay these are the apis where you are creating the apis so that is the reason that uh, currently the next CS is supporting both kind of documentation app based router which we created at the, at the first which contains a source folder and inside that you find an app folder you can also use a page based routing and this is the project structure contains app pages public inside of pages you will see all these configurations created and inside pages you will see all the layout this is app based routing conventions so both are different i mean for the routing also the the file based routing is a little bit different because now the root folders are different right but whatever the things you are using either app router which which includes underscore app folder i mean uh, forward slash app folder or you use a page based router where these features are available inside the page pages folder if you see here inside the pages all the routing will be lie here here i am creating apis server side apis similarly if it converts into the app folder inside a source folder i mean source is optional let's try to see if i don't want to use source folder just only app folder so let's see source directory uh, yes or oh, let's keep it as a no okay let's say yes app router no yes yes so everything will be inside a source folder that is just uh, another thing inside you will get a pages so these are the like three or four different permutations which i have tried having source directory in app directory having source directory in a pages directory and having only pages directory so pages will be in at the root if you are following that convention so accordingly the configurations will be distributed in the tailwind like okay source pages so it is bootstrapping all the configurations all the path all the build configuration based on that only so in, out of these three different permutations you can try any kind of setup i i always choose app based router inside a source folder so that's it that's uh, that's uh, what we are covering here uh, in the next years how you can create a different uh, combinations of the folder strategies and uh, so what we are going to cover next first we will talk about what are these different uh, strategies we have ssg ssr csr or isr and then we will talk a little bit about the re latest react changes because next yes internally uses all the react components so understanding the latest changes in the react is fine we will just do a We will just bootstrap a simple react app and try to understand only the latest features which has been released because react is also evolving and then we will just get started with the next js